We are learning more tonight about the deaths of four people in a Woodburn home over the weekend. Investigators say Mark Gago killed those four people, including his own nine-month-old daughter, Olivia. The medical examiner says all four died from sharp force trauma. One also suffered blunt force trauma. Deputies say Gago also tried to kill an eight-year-old girl, which is when they shot and killed him. Now, workers at a women's services center in Clackamas County say they have gotten calls about the horrific case. And they think this is an important time to talk about domestic violence. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly sat down with experts to learn more. Domestic violence is a pervasive issue in every community, and the people here at a safe place want you to know that anyone can call their crisis line, especially right now, not only if you're a victim. When something like this happens, it just ripples through all aspects of the community. A horrific attack. Four people killed and the suspect's actions have raised the question in this community, how can I help? We take the time to really listen, suspend judgment, suspend our urge to sort of save somebody. Melissa Earlbaum is the executive director for Clackamas Women's Services, just one of a number of agencies at a safe place, including the district attorney's office and sheriff's office. They all work together under one roof to offer greater access and care for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. Earl Baum says oftentimes when tragedy hits a community, it hits hard and people want to know how they can then support someone they're worried might be a victim of domestic violence. I think it's really easy for us to go immediately to you, you have to leave or you need to get a restraining order, or you need to do this. And really each individual situation is unique. She says in the majority of their cases, they do see domestic violence as a cycle of abusive behavior that starts subtly, but escalates over time. On Sunday, we sat down with the ex-boyfriend of Shayna Schweitzer. She was one of four people killed Saturday. Jason Grimm told Fox 12 Schweitzer had been messaging him, saying the suspect had become violent with her in recent weeks. She um, texted me telling, her about, telling me about how he um, has strangled her, tried to strangle her a few times. Um, that mark was mean to her a lot. We know that individuals who are capable of committing crimes of strangulation are some of the most dangerous offenders. On January 1st, new legislation expanding the definition of strangulation went into effect. The Oregon Senate unanimously approved the bill and also upgraded the charge in many cases from a misdemeanor to a felony. I think one of the most critical pieces of that legislation is us raising the awareness and the bar why it's so important. There are red flags loved ones can watch for, Earl Baum says, including a cycle of jealousy, isolation, and violence. But above all, she says family and friends should never take the blame for something that happens. It is never the responsibility of the victim. It's never the responsibility of the loved ones um, to take on the actions of the perpetrator, the abuser. The center here has plenty of resources and you can just walk on in. Everything is free and confidential. The Clackamas Women's Services does have a 24 hour crisis line that you can call. That number is 503-654-2288. And again, you don't have to be a victim to call that number. Reporting in Oregon City tonight, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.